Welcome back. You're still watching uh, Nile Cruz on uh, Nile TV from a very special place from uh, the heart of Cairo and the Al Azhar Mosque uh, today, celebrating the birth of uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is coinciding on uh, the 9th of November for this year and the 12th of uh, the Islamic month of uh, Rabia Al Awal. And today I'm honored to be having with me uh, on uh, Nile Cruz to be speaking more about the life and the significance of the life of uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, Dr. Ibrahim Ashur, the Islamic scholar at Al Azhar University. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Dr. Ibrahim, a very good day, and it's our pleasure to have you with us, uh, of course, in today's episode of Nile Cruise on a very special occasion, celebrating, as Ahmed just said, uh, the birth of Prophet Muhammad. Um, Dr. Ibrahim, what does the birth of Prophet Muhammad represent to us as Muslims and to all humanity at large? Okay, uh, first of all, let me begin by praising Allah the Almighty, the Lord of the world, uh, the creator of everything, and I send peace and blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And we, uh, as Muslims, we do believe in all prophets and messengers whom Allah the Almighty uh, sent to um, uh, human beings to guide them to the straight path, beginning with the first uh, human beings, the first uh, prophet of Allah, Adam, throughout Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus, and the final and last prophet and messenger, Muhammad, may the best peace. Uh, from the early beginning, from the dawn of the history, when he sent down Adam, Eve, and Satan from heaven into earth, Allah Almighty says, Go down, all of you, from it, and whosoever, uh, when guidance comes to, uh, from me to you, whosoever follows my guidance, uh, uh, there will be uh, no uh, fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. So this is a, a, a reward from Allah the Almighty. Whosoever follows the guidance of Allah the Almighty, uh, he will not be uh, suffering from any harm in this life, moreover, in the uh, hereafter. So in conclusion, the Prophet, peace be upon him, considered to be a guidance from Allah the Almighty to all uh, humanity at large, and he was sent to all humanity, not uh, to a specific and exclusive group as the prophets and messengers uh, before him used to be sent to specific uh, tribes or group uh, uh, of them. Yes, Doctor, how can the life of uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, be a model to us and to be a model uh, for all humanity, as you said? Uh, yes, um, as you know, we are human beings, right? So uh, we are not angels. Sometimes we do good, sometimes we do bad and evil. So um, when it comes to the technology and the like of that, we can excel very well. No problem with this. We can invent, we can discover, we can do uh, so many things. But when it comes to the matters of what's good, what's evil, what's true, what's false, um, humans uh, fail miserably. Because suppose if you have a problem, for example, and you, you get uh, 10 friends of you, and you would like consult, to consult them about uh, the solution for your problem. You can have 10 different solutions for your problem, and maybe all of them are wrong. So we are not perfect. So as human beings, we need your model to follow, to copy, to imitate. That's why Allah the Almighty sent us the Prophet, peace be upon him, to be uh, the role model for us. And he sent with them, uh, 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 you know, a perfect way of life. So if we follow the way of the Prophet and we imitate the perfect man whom Allah has sent to us, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, now we are truly guided in this life. We will live in this life according to what Allah the Almighty wants from us. We will live in the best, uh, uh, you know, state. Allah the Almighty commanded us if we live in this life in, a, in the best way as he wants uh, the Almighty, he will reward us not only in this life, but moreover in the hereafter. Allah the Almighty says, whosoever does righteousness, righteous deeds, uh, from male or female, while he's a believer or uh, he's a believer or she's a believer, Allah promised we will uh, uh, cause him to live in this life in the best way. Not only that, but in the hereafter, we will reward him uh, uh, of the best of what uh, he used to do in this life. So in brief, the Prophet, peace be upon him, is uh, the ultimate rule model for us to imitate him and to live according to what Allah wants from us in this life. Uh, doctor, how did Prophet Muhammad um, uh, celebrate his birthday? Um, and of course, uh, everyone celebrates his birthday, but Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, is of course a very um, special person. Uh, Rasul, okay. of course, or Prophet. How, how did he celebrate <coughs> his birthday and during his life? 
Okay. Uh, your question is divided into uh, two things, two branches. How the Prophet, peace be upon him, celebrated and when. Uh, let's focus on when the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to celebrate his birth. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to uh, fast on Mondays, all Mondays. When he was asked about this, he says, ذَلِكَ يَوْمٌ وُلِدْتُ فِيهِ وَفِيهِ بُعِثْتُ Meaning that that, uh, uh, that day, on that day, I was born. And on that day, I started to receive revelation from Allah the Almighty. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, does not celebrate his birth once a year. No. He celebrates his birth once a week. Every week, the Prophet, peace be upon him, celebrates his birth by fasting on Mondays. And this is the second branch, how the Prophet used to fast, uh, used to celebrate, sorry. The Prophet, peace be upon him, followed the way of getting closer to Allah the Almighty in his celebration. So he used to fast as a, 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 an act of worship to Allah the Almighty, to get closer to Allah the Almighty. So how to celebrate the Prophet, peace be upon him? We have to think in something that drags us closer to Allah the Almighty, as the Prophet did. Prophet used to fast. So we, can to, uh, we, we have to imitate the Prophet. If we would like to celebrate the Prophet, peace be upon him, we have to imitate him by uh, uh, fasting on Mondays as he's used to do. We can uh, read the biography of him, uh, may the best peace and blessing, blessings be upon him, to learn from him and to increase our level of Iman, our faith, and also to get closer to Allah as the Prophet used to do. If uh, Prophet Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, was uh, nowadays living on earth and the problems that we are facing and the threats and challenges that uh, humanity is facing over the past 100 years, for example, uh, if we can take a, a problem at a time, how would the Prophet be uh, dealing with them and solving them uh, mm. uh, w with his um, uh, mind and with his uh, behavior? Uh, how? how Prophet Muhammad would be dealing, for example, with the racial discrimination that we can see, um, not in Egypt, but all over the world. How can Islam and Prophet Muhammad be solving them nowadays? Uh, Prophet uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like all prophets and messengers whom Allah the Almighty sent to all humanity. All of them do not speak for themselves. So when, whenever the Prophet, peace be upon him, solves a problem, he solves it through Allah the Almighty, through the revelation from Allah uh, the Almighty. Uh, so many uh, uh, problems and catastrophes nowadays we are uh, uh, suffering from, humanity at large suffering from, like for example, as you said, discrimination or racism. It's spread all over the world and we need to put an end for this. But look how uh, Islam blocks at uh, uh, humanity at large. When we read the verses of the Quran, we can clearly mention and observe that Allah the Almighty, Islam, honors human beings at large with different colors, uh, with different races, with different everything. Allah the Almighty says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمِ Meaning that we have honored the children of Adam. So all human beings are honored in the sight of Allah, are honored in the sight of Islam. Also, Islam uh, looks at humanity uh, as uh, one family, one family. As Allah the Almighty says, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ إِنَّا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ مِنْ ذَكَرٍ وَأُنْثَى which means, O oh mankind, we have created you from a male and female, and we have made you into peoples and tribes that you get to know one another, that you may uh, know one another. Uh, uh, so um, uh, humanity is considered to be one family in the sight of Islam. Racism, how Prophet, peace be upon him, cures this problem. Uh, indeed, the Prophet said, uh, ended this, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, problem from its root. Uh, if we review the uh, prophetic tradition of the Prophet, peace be upon him, we can realize that he said, uh, uh, meaning that your Lord indeed, your Lord is one, and your father is one. All of you are from Adam. Your father is Adam, and Adam has been created from dust. What does it mean? If we look at this, please let me uh, go in depth in, yes. these, in this statement. Yes. The Prophet said, all of us are children of Adam. What does it mean? It means that all of us are brothers. Do you think that a brother can belittle his brother? Of course not. Do you think that a brother can be arrogant over his sister or his another brother? Of course not. So uh, the statement means 
when I say all of us are children of Adam, means that all of us are brothers. So there is no point for each and every one to be arrogant and to be superior over another one. And the Prophet said, and you are created from dust, which means that we are nothing. We are created from dust. So there is no point as well to have arrogance in our hearts. We are nothing. We, Allah the Almighty brought us from non-existence into existence. So we are nothing. So there is no point for us to be to consider ourselves superior over uh, others. And let me uh, end this uh, answer by saying, the Prophet said, uh, uh, there is no superiority. He said, he said that in a very crystal clear manner. He said, there is no superiority uh, uh, of an Arab over non-Arab, or of an non-Arab over an Arab, or of uh, a red man over a black man, or of a black man over a red man. Uh, except in terms of piety and righteousness. So there is no racism in Islam. All human beings are equal in the side of Islam. Um, Doctor, um, what, are, what about the ce uh, celebration of the birth of Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, and uh, what uh, historic origin does this occasion have? Yes, uh, as I said earlier in the first question, of course, it, it has a very uh, uh, significant uh, points. This is for us to reflect and to refresh our faith, to um, renew our actions, because sometimes we need some uh, incident from time to time to refresh our faith, to refresh our uh, actions. So uh, we need to remember the Prophet, peace be upon him. We need to remember uh, the uh, uh, efforts that he exerted in his uh, uh, life span. That's why I said to you, we have to celebrate uh, uh, the birth of the Prophet, peace be upon him, in uh, a correct way. Not by, uh, you know, entertainment and, and you know, uh, playing and so on and so forth uh, without any benefit. But we have to read his biography and know how he struggled with his companions to deliver to us this guidance of Allah the Almighty. If we know all of that, we will be truly guided and we get the benefit from uh, this occasion. Uh, if we can return to Prophet Muhammad, how did he deal with uh, problems that are facing uh, the society nowadays and back then during his time? Um, broken families, for example, the high rates of uh, divorce in Egypt as uh, highlighted by the president himself, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the high rates of divorce, the broken families, how can this be dealt with and solved through Islam and uh, through the life uh, or the uh, morale of uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Uh, yes, uh, uh, of course, um, Islam, um, you know, instructed to us how to establish uh, relationships with all humanity, as I just uh, uh, said. Yes. But when it comes to um, establishing uh, good relations with our families, with our father and mothers, wives, children, relatives in general, Islam focuses on this in a very, very uh, uh, intensive uh, way. Uh, uh, Islam uh, uh, urges, not only urges, but he commanded us to keep in ties with our kinship, beginning with our fathers and mothers through all our relatives. For example, if we look at, as you said, uh, the relationship between uh, men and women or husband and wife, the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, made the measure or, or uh, the, the point that you can judge people uh, whether they are uh, or they have good manners or not. Uh, we can judge them according to uh, his, uh, the, the man, according to his attitude towards his uh, wife. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, خيركم 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 which means the best view is the best one who is, is the best to his family, to his, uh, you know, a wife. I'm, uh, uh, and I'm uh, the best one to my family. Uh, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, the last few moments of the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him, he commanded us to treat uh, uh, our wives well. He says, meaning that I recommend you to treat your wives well. And uh, 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 the Prophet, Allah the Almighty, uh, uh, put rights uh, uh, for, uh, or upon a man to fulfill for his wives. And also put uh, uh, right, uh, rights for uh, a woman also to fulfill upon the woman towards his, uh, her uh, uh, husband to fulfill. So a great, uh, a great recommendation, a great uh, command from Allah the Almighty uh, for husband and wife to treat each other well and to reduce this sense, this uh, matter actually, uh, uh, divorce. So Islam uh, commands us to uh, you know, keep in ties with uh, our relatives. And let me uh, uh, finish by this. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, 
whosoever would like uh, for his provision to be increased and uh, wants uh, uh, to get his lifespan to be expanded and extended, let him keep in ties of kinship. Um, uh, Dr. Ibrahim Ashur, Islamic scholar at Al Azhar University. We thank you so much, uh, Doctor, for joining us in today's uh, episode of Nile Cruise. We thank you, of course, for your informative knowledge that you added to uh, this very special day, which is the birth of Prophet Muhammad. Thank you so much for joining us in today's Thank episode. you. It's my pleasure. God bless you. Thank you. Dear viewers, this was the segment of Nile Cruise. Stay with us. A very special day celebrating the birth of Prophet Muhammad. May peace be upon him. We'll be back again. Don't go away.